tax, audit, or banking. This video is going to be about career paths in accounting. Now, generally my videos about real estate, renovating and financial freedom, this probably fits into the financial freedom space category because the career path I chose has led me to be where I am today. So I wanted to share those options with you. Why did I choose the option I did? And how did my career path in accounting actually set me up for success in business and in our property portfolio? I mean, the first story to kick off with is why did I become an accountant in the first place? I'll recap the conversation I had with my careers advisor in year 10. It went a little bit something like this. Thanks for coming in today, Luke. What would you like to do with your career? No worries. I'd like to do business. Simple as that. You seem pretty sure. Why do you want to do business at university? I just want to make money. So I'm planning on doing a double degree in commerce and business management at the University of Queensland, majoring in accounting, finance, and human resources. Very good. Well, thanks for coming in today. Very straightforward conversation, I know. From about the ages of 14, 15, 16, I knew I wanted to go into business. Now, what on earth do you study if you want to do business? Well, surely you go and study business at university. Now, the reality is that you end up going into accounting or international banking or human resources and you end up getting into a job and you have to start somewhere. So for me, it was looking at doing accounting because I thought that would give me the inside lane to understanding businesses, looking at their financials and actually working out what I wanted to do in the business world. Now, for lots of people, their career path is not as simple as that. They don't know exactly what areas they want to go into. They might try one degree, try another. They might try this job and try that job. It does take time to work out exactly what you want to do. But for me, I knew what I wanted to do, so I went straight for it. This leads me into key story number two, which is experience, which is going to change your career path. Now, whether you're looking to go into tax or audit or banking, the experience you get while you're at university and while you're in your first few years of your career will set you up for the long term and the trajectory of your career. For me, it was about getting experience in different areas. So I looked at audit, I looked at tax, and I looked at banking or mergers and acquisitions. And I looked at small, and I looked at medium, and I looked at large accounting firms. I started pretty late. I did a double degree, which was probably not the right decision, but it also allowed me to mature and grow up a little bit and spend a few extra years at university. So it wasn't necessarily a bad thing. And for a lot of you out there who are looking at becoming a chartered accountant or looking to go into tax audit, banking, finance, business, this is going to be very applicable for you. Without the experience, you're not going to get your next job. And so you need to apply early and often to try and get the experience. In my journey, about six months out from finishing my degree, I did three one-month stints at different firms. I did a small accounting firm in audit, a mid-tier accounting firm in audit, and a large firm in their deals division. And I was looking for that breadth of experience and getting a feel of those different accounting firms. Everyone's gonna have a different experience at a different size firm. Small firms don't necessarily get access to big clients and big exposure, and you really only have the one boss. Mid-tier firms, you get the best of both worlds. You get smaller clients, which give you more hands-on experience, and you also get access to those bigger deals, which give you a bigger breadth of knowledge and more prestigious types of companies to work with. Finally, in your biggest accounting firms, you're generally dealing with the biggest clients, the most prestigious clients in terms of recognition, but you might be doing a small amount of work in terms of that big picture. For me, I chose the middle tier firm because I thought it was the best in terms of team culture and the best fit for me in terms of work-life balance. I didn't want to work 60 hours a week every week. So the mid tier firm had the right balance in terms of clientele and appeared to have the right balance in terms of lifestyle. I also need to give you some reality in terms of tax audit and banking when it comes to the jobs on offer as you're finishing university and starting out in your first few years of your career. Tax and audit take the most amount of accounting graduates in their first few years out of university. Banking, corporate finance, mergers and acquisitions are really a more selective pool and there's generally not many options or many jobs in those corporate finance teams. There might be one job each year, for example, at the company I was working at in a mid-tier firm, there might have been 10 audit graduates, 10 
10 tax graduates and one or two corporate finance graduates. So in terms of the pool of people, most people will end up in tax and audit and not many people are going to end up in banking or corporate finance. In terms of the money, corporate finance and banking are going to have significantly higher wages, something like 80 to $120,000 starting out. Whereas in tax and audit, you're going to be around that 50 to 60K to begin with and you're slowly going to progress yourself up as you become a chartered accountant and as you get more experience at a manager level. Now, of those three options, I picked the audit option. It gave me exposure to those clients. I wasn't interested in doing tax and I probably didn't have the work ethic or even the smarts to be a corporate banker or in the finance space. So for me, audit was the right decision. It gave me that breadth of knowledge and allowed me to have the right work-life balance for the first few years of my career. Now it's an individual choice whether you choose tax, audit or banking when it comes to starting out your career. But I wanted to share my experience from my thoughts going into university, my experiences during university and post graduating and how I ended up in my career path where I am today. Now for me, my passion has always been property. On the side, I was always reading property magazines. I was then listening to podcasts and eventually buying our first place we were renovating. And we started documenting our journey here on the YouTube channel through all of our renovations since our second property onwards. You need to find what you're passionate about. So whether you're passionate about tax and helping people on that one-on-one -on -one basis, or whether you wanna do audit or deals or mergers and acquisitions, you need to find what you're passionate about. Because when you're passionate about it, time will just fly by. So that would be my biggest recommendation is to try and find the niche or the area that suits you most based on your passions and based on your interests because it's gonna make things so much easier. Now, if you're interested in seeing what I earned each year for the first five years of my career as an accountant, you should click this video over here. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.